please welcome from Stoke on Trent, England, the reigning and defending Grand Slam champion and the record breaking, history making, 16 times the champion of the world, a little bit of booing for Michael Van Gogh in there. Did that surprise you? Yes, yes it did. Uh, uh, look, I, I, I know Phil is, is not, lives not that far away, whereas from in Stoke. But they, they, they will change because whoever gets in front, they want the other one to fight back. But I know for a fact Michael is not, he's not one that responds well to booing. Uh, in the, the recent World Grand Prix, he was complaining to, to the referees that well, controlling the crowd and stop them booing when he was playing Robert Thornton. That could play a part. I do hope not. And this has got to give Taylor a lift. What a reception. It, it is. It's quite incredible that uh, at the age of 55, he's still so well loved with it within darts. He's been at the very top now for 27 years and uh, people are still not sick and tired of him being in finals. It's incredible what he's achieved. It's amazing. And a reminder, this is the only major title he holds right now. He'll be desperate, desperate, desperate to hang on to it. He will be desperate, but is that is this the last one he holds and the, the, the last one he won because he's used to the format. He's good over the format. The two games in one day, he expends little energy. He moves at a pace that is good for him. He doesn't rush things. I, I, I think this could be really close. I really do. And another commentary, John Part and Stuart Pike. The best player in the world today against the greatest ever. The only tournament in the PVC Michael Van Gerwen hasn't won. Big TV event. And Phil Taylor, the only one he holds on to. What a start from Taylor as he puts down a marker with his first three darts of the final. Wow, John Park, it all goes well. Oh, it still does. It's unbelievable. He switched. Did he still alive for a nine dart? Leg to open. The
the final. What kind of message is this? Well, this is incredible. Electric atmosphere inside the Civic here in Wolverhampton. First leg of the match. Well, he was close, wasn't he? But he has put down a marker to Michael Van Gerwen. I mean business here. The underdog. Around about 11 to 4, Phil Taylor. The biggest prize he's ever been to win a major TV final in the history of the PDC. And he's on double six after nine darts to open this final. It's double three. And he gets it for an 11 dart leg. Does Michael look a little concerned? He should be. What a, what a way to start for Phil Taylor. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen needs to get out of the traps here on his own throw. Yeah, the only major that he hasn't won in three magical years. 95. And for Phil Taylor, the only one he currently holds. So much at stake over the next couple of hours here in Wolverhampton. The two in four players. Taylor, you just get the feeling John means business. Oh, just the perfect first start. And he needed to go one side or the other that third, and he, he couldn't quite. So, still Van Gerwen with control of the leg, but that has evaporated. There's a chance now for Phil. He's got to think about six starts and 2 6 6. Well, the way he finished his semi final against Raymond Van Barneveld. It was a scrappy start, wasn't it? But exceptional in the second half of that semi-final. And Van Gerwen here visibly looks under pressure, John, doesn't he? Well, yeah, he's bound to kick in, though. Really is. Phil needs treble 19. This for a potential break. No, so he has 72 for this dart. Let me see where he might go, trying to set up. And Van Gerwen ended his semi-final with a 170. Can he start his tally here with one? Yeah, 170 to beat Michael Smith in the semi-finals, but Phil Taylor here might be about to strike an early blow. A break of throw straight up for Taylor. That's a great guide for him. Wow. Well, that's so disappointing. And now we find out if Van Gerwen, his finishing is still sharp, and that's a great treble. Oh, wow. What a chance for Van Gerwen. Two misses by Taylor at double 16. The first dart from Van Gerwen was perfect. It had to go in, it didn't. For two, nil. Well, the treble 14 from Michael Van Gerwen, we just expected it to go in, didn't we? But there's no doubt he's feeling the pinch here, Michael Van Gerwen. He really is. Yeah, both his starts a double were right on the wire, but at his skill level, that's a miss. That is, you know, in his mind, unacceptable. You see the resulting averages here. The scoring nowhere there for Michael. Nope. His tournament average has been around 106, 107 throughout here the week at Wolverhampton. The Phil Taylor 18. is the master when it comes to big finals. Well, just not happening, is it? Well, I don't think he's going to be overly concerned. I think he believes he can fall behind, but he is annoyed. He wants to win with domination. At, at this point, that's what's in his mind. I don't think he's even thinking about losing yet, but Phil certainly is thinking about winning, isn't he? Yeah, no consistency on the treble 20. He's looking on edge. In comparison, Phil Taylor has made 
the perfect start. Is this his second 180? 140. This is his fourth 140. At the moment, Van Gerwen being outplayed. 140, Van Gerwen 81. For 3-0, the perfect start to the final. Double 12. What a good dive! What a good dive! What a good start! Huge leg here for Van Gerwen. Well, I bet the odds makers are wondering what's going on and what to do about it. <laughs> Must win leg for Michael Van Gerwen. No real rhythm job. Yeah, I, you know, he could even lose this. It just gets, when he does get on a run, and it's 115, 120 average, he can reel off five, six legs. I don't think we're anywhere near must-win legs, but certainly with every leg Phil wins, without Michael winning one, Phil's getting stronger. Well, we remember the last time they played in a... A major TV final, the World Match Play of 2014. It was 18-9 Taylor, and he was that good. And on that night, Michael Van Gerwen was reduced to oh, tears after that defeat. Phil not leaving a finish. 57. And that keeps coming up all week. Doesn't look like he might be punished, but, well, Michael needs to do something, doesn't he? Taylor looks relaxed, comfortable. 98. His opponent Michael doesn't. Maybe a big finish would spark him into life. 96. Taylor here for 4 mil. You would have got very, very long odds on Phil Taylor winning the first four legs of this final. One dart. For four nil. And just to try and get a leg. 48, double 16 now. That'll feel better. Well, that's a huge, huge moment already in this final. Big sigh of relief for Michael Van Gerwen. He got away with one there. Michael Van Gerwen has reached the final well, of every PDC major this year since losing the World Championship semi-final to Gary Anderson. He's won the Masters, the UK Open, the World Match Play in the European Championship. He's lost the Premier League and the World Grand Prix. And here he is looking for his first Grand Slam crown. And I have to say, the first break can't come soon enough for the world number one. 96. Yeah, and it's not looking like he's going to get a leg back, a break. Phil, comfortably ahead. Just needs one treble and he'll maintain that. There it is. It's a 1 3 1. 20 points between them in the average. 105 Taylor. 85. Van Gerwen is averaging 85. Astonishing. You would not have believed what's happened at the start of this final. Treble 13. And a double 16. An emphatic it double 16. Takes Phil Thayer into the first break. And four legs to one over the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen. The Grand Slam champ of last year is making a serious, serious bid to keep it.